Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Sovereign Skies. It's a fairly new game, so I will be doing a review on it. Here's how you play it. You see there are six stacks of tokens here. You are going to keep playing until two of these stacks are depleted. You finish the round, and then the game is over. And then you count up all your points. Whoever has the most points wins the game. So again, you keep playing until two of these six stacks are empty. And then you count up all your points. If you have the most points, you are the winner. The points are quite simple. They are all on the num they are the numbers that are on these tokens here that you have at the end of the game. Count up all the numbers to see what your final score is. The only thing I'd like to add to that is that you also get one point for every three of these tokens that you have left. These are energy tokens. Three of these is one point at the end of the game. So, how do you play it? What do you do when it's your turn? That's quite easy to explain. First, you move your own big spaceship. And then you do whatever you can on the space that you land on. Move your ship and take your action. Let me go into detail. The first step, moving your ship. You can do that in two ways. You can move your ship in the direction that you're facing. And then take as many steps as you like. The first step is free. And from then on you have to pay one energy token per step. For example, my green ship is over here. And I want to get to this planet. So I move one two, three. The first step is free, but I took three steps in total, so I pay two of my energy tokens back to the supply. That's one way to move. The other way is this. Before you start moving, you can pay two energy to reverse. So I pay two energy tokens and then I reverse my big spaceship so that it points in the other direction. And then I can do exactly the same. I want to go here, so I only move one. Moving the first step is always free, so I don't have to pay anything extra. That's how you move around the board. Either go forward or pay two energy to reverse your ship and go in the other direction. Keep in mind, you have to move. You cannot stay where you are. Next, take your action on the planet that you landed on. You can take up to three actions. You don't have to, but three is the maximum. The only rule is you can't take the same action more than once. So, if you do more than one action, they have to be different things. The first thing I can tell you about that is easy. On every planet, there are always two actions you can do that are exactly the same. Every planet has these actions. Wherever you are, you can always choose to place one of your little dropships on the planet. And you can always choose to take one of the cards that's next to it. So again, whatever planet you are on, when it's your turn and you moved there, you can always place one of your dropships there, and you can take a card. If you do both, that already counts as two actions. Why you would dr drop a ship or take a card, that I'll explain in a moment. The third thing you can do on every planet is also easy to explain. But I have to do this one planet at a time. 
because each planet has its own unique action. If you want, you can also choose to do that. If you forget what a planet does, you can always look it up at the rulebook during the game. There are only six planets, so it won't take very long. The first one is Davas. When you go here, you can pay two cards to take a senator and then some points. If you look at these senators, these cards with aliens on them, you can see it shows two cards. That means you have to pay those two cards and then you can take the card. When you take the card, you can also take the point token that's right under the card, here. And that's it. Go to Davas to pay cards to take a senator and the point token. The senator is simple. Whenever you want, you can discard this card and immediately take the bonus the card gives you. It doesn't even count as an action. It's free. And you can even choose between two bonuses. You can see this card says this or this. What each of these icons means you can easily look up on the back of the rulebook. There's a quick reference guide. Just keep in mind you can only play one senator per turn. Next planet. You go here to place one of your own bases on a planet of your choice. These little columns in your own color. Can you just build them for free? No. If at, a planet, if at each planet you can see, it shows a certain number of little dropship icons. See? That means you have to have this many dropships on this planet, and then you can build a base. This is why you drop your little ships on a planet. How do you do that? First, you take one of your base tokens from your own player board. You can take any one you like, and then place it on the board... Uh, Place it on the planet with this small icon facing down. This is now an inactive base. If you look at your own player board, you can see there are little icons on it. That means when you take a base, you get a bonus. If you take it from here, you get two energy. If you take one from here, you can place a dropship anywhere. And if you take it from here, you can take any card from a planet. Moving on, the planet Solenmare. If you go here, you can take two energy tokens. And then you can have one extra energy token for every base that you have on the board. That's one reason why you build a base. That's it, so let's go to the next planet, Rhea. First, try to think of how you need to pronounce this name. But also, when you are here, you can activate your base. That means you flip over one of your inactive bases and place it with the icon facing up. That means it's activated now. And just for doing that, you can take a point token from this board right here. If you activated a base on a green planet, you can take a token from the green stack. Two more planets to go. Wern. When you are here, you can take any one or two of your little dropships on any planet and relocate them to any other space you like. And then the last one, the planet Elona. 
If you go here, you can put one of your cards back to the planet it came from, and then you can take the point token from the same planet, from this board, here. That's it. This is called pledging. But what if you discard a card for this planet, but there is no token? Well, then it gets extra interesting. Pay close attention. If a token isn't on the board, you might be able to steal it from the player who has it. There's only one important detail. You have to be in control on that planet. How do you determine who is in control? First, are there any active bases on this planet? If so, whoever has the most is in control. Second, if there are no active bases here, are there any inactive bases? If so, whoever has the most is in control. And finally, if there are no active bases or inactive bases, whoever has the most little dropships on the planet is in control. If you are in control, you can steal the token away from the player who has it. If you're not in control, you have to take one token from a one. This one. And one more thing about pledging. You can do this three times and it counts as one action. So in one go, you can do three pledges. Those are all the things you can do on the six planets. Feel free to look at the back of the rulebook for a quick reminder. I've got two last important details to explain. Remember that a player can be in control of a planet. When it's your turn and you move your big ship around the board, if you stop on a planet where another player is in control, that player can take one energy token from the supply. And the last thing, as I've said, you can take up to three actions. Drop a ship, take a card, and do the planet's own action. You might wonder why you would take less than three actions. Do all three. Well, if you look at your own player board, it says numbers of actions taken. Because if you only take one action and then you stop, you get to take one energy token. But if you stop after two actions, nothing happens. And if you take all three actions, you have to pay one energy token. And that's it. You now know all you need to know to play Sovereign Skies. If you have played it at least once, the game will be about 45 minutes long. I hope you feel like you are ready to give it a go and that you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you for the next one.